Okay. Back to you. Yeah. Uh, because uh, uh, we said 15 minutes is okay. Minutes, yeah, yeah. yeah. How did you come to meet Marwa? Or did you guys grow up together? Or how no, Marwa. It? Yeah. Marwa has been uh, my childhood friend. Mm -hmm. If you see uh, only this building has blocks there. Marwa, they used to stay somewhere. Somewhere there. Oh, okay, okay. Somewhere there. Actually, maybe this video. Yeah. I will maybe. end uh, when I'm. Uh, you know, you, you were shown that place? Yeah. Where they have now barricaded their building, uh, there's a house that uh, David Junior, I think David Junior and the dad are constructing it. There. Yeah, yeah. So that used to be their original home. Okay. So this market behind here, uh -huh. where now you can see buildings where our mothers are selling. Yeah. They used the structures used not to be there. Yeah. We used to play at times football there, mm -hmm. but Maron wasn't good in football. Mm -hmm. So at times we'll come, hang around there. Mm -hmm. Then we go down or there we go and uh, to look after our cattle. Uh -huh. So Maro's dad used to farm somewhere down there, far, far from here. Mm -hmm. And uh, luckily enough, our dad, uh, our dad used to, our dad uh, were friends. Mm -hmm. So how we met with Maro, mm -hmm. you see where this building is. I know uh, no one has ever shown there. Oh, the, you see where the, the barricade is there. Uh, the barricade, which you one? See, you see the eye oh, somewhere oh, there. Oh, yeah, that one. The camera is yeah, there. Yeah, uh, somewhere. It's somewhere yeah. where the, those ladies are. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, where we used to stay, like a rental house. Oh, okay, okay. There were mud houses mm -hmm, there. Mm -hmm. So when Mara's parents came first mm -hmm. in Nyabohansi, mm -hmm. uh, they were my parents who welcomed them. Yeah. Someone came and introduced them to them, like uh, dad told them, okay, it's okay because you don't know anyone here, you can come, you get a room to the one of those uh, houses. Mm -hmm. By then we were the only tenants there. Mm -hmm. They gave them a room, mm -hmm. they stayed. So, you know, us and Marwa, we've been now like we grew together, mm -hmm. we'll go sleep to their house, mm -hmm. they come sleep to our house. So that's why we started now knowing each other, like yeah. now brothers. Yeah. So, I and Marwa, I think I knew Marwa when we were around, if it's not 10 years, if I'm not wrong, it's 10, 10, 10 years. Yeah. So, we'll move around here. Mm -hmm. That uh, where you're seeing th those two poles, yeah. the electric poles, yeah. that one used to be also a playing ground. Okay. And always go sit there, mm -hmm. play. Mm -hmm cross the road, come back. Uh -huh. So that's why, that's why then, because the mom now uh, came here, uh, congrats mom. Uh -huh. She's been uh, transferred to another school known as Rokari Primary School. Rokari. When you go. Yeah, I normally you see know, David Junior take her somewhere. And, uh, there, but yeah, you know, yeah. mostly when he takes her, he usually brings her, there's a church here. Okay, okay. Because there are seven today, yeah. there's a church here. Yeah. So that way that goes up there. Yeah. Stuff. That's where she she was transferred to. So she was new here. Yeah. So like uh, my parents told her, cause it's near, uh -huh. you won't be using maybe transport or what. Yeah. You can just walk. Yeah. And go. Uh -huh. So now we started knowing each other that way, that way, that way. Now the dad started now, at least now knowing people. Uh -huh. He could get a place to farm. Uh -huh. Then uh, luckily enough. Uh -huh. Maro came with school with him. There's a school here known as Rev. David Veskov. If you go through his videos, yeah. you're able to see that. Yeah, yeah. So we were schooling there. Mm -hmm. At first we were schooling where the mom was teaching. Mm -hmm. Then uh, our parents transferred us. So then uh, the mom was like, uh, my son took and go. I think that's a, a nice school. Yeah, my yeah. told is a nice school. So mm -hmm. we all went there. Mm -hmm. So after that we went, because our home is down there. Mm -hmm. We bought land there. Mm -hmm. by, by then, at least their dad had started now on a, uh, knowing people mm -hmm. then they moved mm -hmm. he, st he bought that piece of land there. okay there uh, here yeah, way here he bought okay. that piece of that's land actually there. the that's piece the of first land. piece of land that they had put okay. here yeah up yeah. there yeah so he went and put a structure mm -hmm. i think they were helping each other with the congrats mom mm -hmm. they put a structure mm -hmm. so that's how he began mm -hmm. like uh the dad the dad the dad is so educated mm -hmm. but he loved farming mm -hmm. maros dad loves farming mm -hmm. He like uh, farm a lot of sugar canes. He had so many farms around here. Mm -hmm. Even where Marano is building, yeah. that place used to have. They used to have a, a big sugar cane farm. Oh, okay, okay. Where the where the villa is. Yeah, that's so Maro, was their farm. Yeah, their farm, their land. land. That's, that's their dad's that's land. That's their dad's land. Okay. But I think Maro either Maro bought it. I think Maro bought it from the dad. Okay. So it's it's now under Maro. Maro bought it from the dad. He was like, no dad. Mm -hmm. This might have given me this. Mm -hmm. I think I'll. Uh, to yeah, give you something yeah, like yeah. Uh, to appreciate. Yeah. So, but the rest of the part, mm -hmm. 
is a maro who has bought it yeah bought the land yeah. but still there's a land after the the villa mm -hmm. on the other side yeah there's a land there actually i took my audience because we've been documenting yeah yeah oh, apart from that one that he gifted the uh, windbow yeah yeah and the, the forest where forest up there where the other uncle is yeah no, forget about the uncle one, Mo? uncle Mo is on the uh, upside down so he gave windbow is a different place yeah yeah so you know he has a plan like uh we were talking to him he was like he want to build like cottages okay. down there mm -hmm. if you cross the river then down there so mm -hmm. he wanted that land mm -hmm. because you know that there are two people there there's another guy who has that land then mm -hmm. after that mm -hmm. that guy's land mm -hmm. it's maro's yeah. land yeah. that land was bought by the dad but i think maybe maro has bought it again okay from the dad okay because uh one thing uh, about him is that uh he like appreciating mm -hmm. like he can't get that land mm -hmm. without even uh, like returning or refunding back the money mm -hmm. or he'll get it and buy the dad's land but i think mm -hmm. they did that like a family thing mm -hmm. then i sorted the dad out mm -hmm. so uh that's when omaro bought but uh but previously mm -hmm. the dad used to farm there mm -hmm. so he had two lands mm -hmm. where they built their compound mm -hmm. the compound where congrats mom and dad are mm -hmm. That land wa was bought by their dad. Okay. But by then, Maro was in Colombia. Yeah. When he used to come, he used to come here. Yeah. So, and now he bought that one and the, the one that the river there where the villa is. Yeah. So when Maro came, they started construction. By then, you know, people never knew Maro, but he, he used to send them cash, like mm -hmm. they'll build, 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 mm -hmm. slowly by slowly, slowly mm -hmm. by slowly, slowly by slowly, mm -hmm. up to he completed their parents' house. Mm -hmm. So Maro, we grew together as kids, young kids, mm -hmm. from primary schools together. Mm -hmm. uh, then now in second school, you know, now everyone has his own preferences, the yeah. parents yeah. now. Yeah. You see the parents now. Yeah. It depends. And you know, mostly when uh, teachers, mm -hmm. teachers will always like their uh, children to go to better schools. Yeah. You see that, and uh, you know, most teachers do have connections. Yeah. Uh, if, Teacher will call you and hey, I have taken my son to a certain school kindly. Uh -huh. Bring your son or your daughter here. Yeah. That's how it happens. Uh -huh. So in second school, that's where we separated Maro. Uh -huh. Then he went to the city. Uh -huh. He went to the city. Uh -huh. He was trying to hustle. Then uh, the college. I think Jacob. Yeah. yeah, he was in Jacob for Jacob. Uh -huh. That's why we went now to like uh, he was a bank. But at the same time, he was uh -huh. trying music. Yeah. You know, most people don't know, but Maro has tried music yeah. too. Yeah. So after that. I saw on social media like Marat saying he's not in Kenya. I'm like, man, mm -hmm. are you serious? Because mm -hmm. you know, Marat used to be that guy, like, uh, he'd make a lot of jokes, mm -hmm. he'd laugh, yeah. he had that talent mm -hmm. in him. Mm -hmm. But now, when he went, mm -hmm. fitty fitty, when he went, mm -hmm. we are not sure, like, is this guy playing uh, mind games with us? Mm -hmm. I'm like, bro, are you for real? Yeah, that I told him, no, no, no. Mm -hmm. So I had to call one guy, he's a musician, because we used to hang together. Mm -hmm known as the Swaga brother to yeah, Maja. Maja. Yeah, Maja, yeah, so because you know when here we are we are three of us mm -hmm. i'm like bro have you seen maro on social media? yeah he left he left mm -hmm. i'm like wow you left to be like a teacher in colombia mm -hmm. so you know, wish him all the best mm -hmm. so that's how we used to do mm -hmm. but now when we were young mm -hmm. uh for now you can see maro doing many things yeah you know maro so is an ambitious guy mm -hmm. who is like the moment he puts his mind on something mm -hmm. trust you me he never turns back yeah sure so Maro started rallying uh, mm -hmm. pigeons. Mm -hmm. Before him, there's another home just near here, mm -hmm. behind here, mm -hmm. where that guy was the dawn of pigeons here. Yeah. So Maro started with like uh, two, three, mm -hmm. but now he'll get money, go buy, mm -hmm. add more, more. Mm -hmm. So it reached a point that he was now owning, oh. he was the biggest mm -hmm. fellow who had pigeons in this, uh, this place. Mm -hmm. So Maro will come to school with new shoes. We're like, man, your parents bought you this. No, no, no mm -hmm. one bought me this. Mm -hmm. It's my own effort. I'm like, how did you get money, man? How did you get money? Mm -hmm. you, are, you, you are our boy, mm -hmm. show us. Mm -hmm. He's like, let me show you. Mm -hmm. Maro has never been uh, like, how will you put a uh, mean uh, to someone? Mm -hmm. You see, like uh, he likes to see some people grow too. Yeah. So he came like, uh, bro, this is what I do. Mm -hmm. I'll give you. I remember my first pigeons. He gave us a, uh, he gave Edu four and me four. Mm -hmm. Like you guys, with. you need to start with these. Yeah. But the rest when you come, mm -hmm. you'll buy. That's you'll have impressive. to buy. But yeah, Very by impressive. then we used to buy about a hundred shillings. Mm -hmm. A <laughs> hundred of the big ones that yeah. he used to sit on fifty to fifty. Mm -hmm. It depends where you come from. Mm -hmm. The moment he looks at you, mostly he saws those uh, kids that are. 
their parents are well off, mm -hmm. they sell it at, even at a 300. Yeah. Even I remember there's a time he sold one at 500 shillings. So Maro will do like that, save money, go buy himself clothes. Mm -hmm. Like now we started even growing together. Mm -hmm. Then we started running uh, rabbits with Maro. Mm -hmm. So that's how he had that mind of making money. Mm -hmm. But uh, we never saw him one day he reach at this level yeah, yeah. where he'll be the biggest person on, on, on uh, the biggest travel uh, personnel mm -hmm. on, on this country now because mm -hmm. uh, Nomaro uh, currently mm -hmm. is at the top. Yeah, sure. He's at the yeah. top. Mm -hmm. So we never saw it coming. Mm -hmm. Like Maro used to be like, you see comedians how he is? Yeah, like used to be, it used to be like Chachi. I swear he was like, he used to be on, the, on another level than even those guys. Yeah. He used to be good at that. Mm -hmm. So we did like that, like that. Now when he went, mm -hmm. so I think also God opened the way to mm -hmm. be like, brother, you can be either content creator or so that you can show calls where you're coming from, you can show calls your friends mm -hmm. back in, in Kenya. Yeah. And that's why he is. Mm -hmm. And trust you me, through Maro, mm -hmm. I think God had a reason as to why he took that guy from me. Yeah. He took to the city, mm -hmm. went to connect it with the other people. Mm -hmm. Then from there, he went to South America, uh -huh. you see? Uh -huh. Then from there, that's why now his YouTube journey started. Uh -huh. But Maro being smart enough, he was like, no, I can't, because the music maybe the verses. Yeah. He was like, I can't like just sit here, let me show cause my village, like uh -huh. this is how YouTube does. Uh -huh. This is how YouTube pays. Uh -huh. I think even when you him, he's an honest guy. He but, tells you, yeah, he tells yeah. everything you see here. Yeah, it's yeah. all on YouTube. Yeah. Forget about what, all that, uh, all the nonsense that people speak, like uh, yeah. he's making his money, it's through YouTube, yeah, yeah. it's through YouTube, bro. Mm -hmm. And uh, he decided like, why can't I share this audience with my fellow villagers, mm -hmm. my fellow friends, mm -hmm. my other YouTubers? Mm -hmm. And that's why we are here. Yeah. That's why we are here. Because mm -hmm. no matter had an opportunity, like they have gone, constructed a house in Runda, mm -hmm. yeah. go by anywhere in the city, mm -hmm. maybe Diani and uh -huh. like a politician a politician thing. how they so that, so that you be away from the away people. from the people so yeah yeah but him he decided he told me no 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 uh -huh. i'll come back to the village yeah. i'll come to the village uh -huh. at least show hope uh -huh. show that young girl that young boy like uh there's hope in life yeah. there's hope in life yeah. so that's how aware we are with him man, and uh, we thank god for that yeah because for me i do like most of the time when you see my videos i do say like maru is like joseph that's sort of joseph mm -hmm. when his brothers went uh, like uh, they dumped him but later on he's the one who came and rescued yeah the family mm -hmm. he came and rescued all the that whole uh, village, whole village. Yes. Uh, you see? yeah so it's a blessing to us guys it's a yeah. blessing to us and uh, we thank god for all that bro. Mm -hmm. so you know when i where i saw maru came from and where we are at times you see people talking or say bad things about I say I saw you don't know that guy. Yeah. Maro used to go, you go to their house where goats are, he's sleeping next to the goats. Mm -hmm. Maro times you come to school like smelling that goat. Mm -hmm. uh, like bro, the goat's are and, and he didn't know he'll be the goat. He never knew he'll be the goat. <laughs> <laughs> He's the god now, man. Because he uh, he knows the secret knows to the being secret, the god. Being the god. Yes. But now here we here we are. Yeah. Here we are. Mm -hmm. I say I, at times when I sit down and look at that guy where he came from, mm -hmm. I say, man, it's God. Yeah. It's yeah, God. Yeah. Everyone has his own destination. Mm -hmm. If you saw if you saw his journey, how mm -hmm. he used to be, mm -hmm. and to that level he is, yeah. you can't believe it. You can't believe it. Yeah. So we are here. Mm -hmm. He decided like let him grow together with the rest of the community yeah, yeah. and you see through him mm -hmm. you can see people have constructed houses yeah, so their many. kids yeah, uh, so school many, fees yeah. are being paid yeah. so these men more has done so much than what even our politician or mp can do yeah even the mc yeah. the mc can. even the president the president with this impacting area, people one on one. one on one on the ground you come you see you see, like you've this been is there Mama you've been there yeah you've been there yeah you do meet so many even elderly people who yes. go tomorrow, you're like, yes. and you take no, let them come. Yeah. At times they say don't, but the moment they come, like, one people come on, let them come. Yeah. Let them come. Yeah. He'll go tell you, this one here, mm -hmm. I got a, a sponsor who is paying the school for the kids. Mm -hmm. This one here, he tell you so many things, you're like, wow. Yeah. This guy, this guy is blessed because of, uh, he has that heart to help. Yeah. He has that heart to help out. Mm -hmm. So, 
is a blessing. It's a blessing. And you know, it's because of that. Maybe if it was him alone, I could not be here. True. Because uh, one thing I like, you know, I want to tell a story with a girl. Yeah. For example, if if it was like a, a standalone man, so there's nothing about it. True. So just like this is Maru and this is about him. But now, what I'm interested in is, yeah. yes, you are you are a big person. You are you are a big name. You have yeah. made money and. Uh, well, so what are you doing with what that? Doing what are you doing with, the, with that man? But uh, what, what I appreciate about him is the fact that he came back yeah. and he wanted to empower his community. Everyone yeah. and uh, inspire the next generation of yes. content creators. And they, as they say, charity begins at home. And uh, he's been able to showcase that. And uh, I'm glad. In my episode, as I've told you, I'm doing the hidden treasures of Mr. Yeah. Uh, so many success stories yeah so guys it's very possible and uh, I'm relating with the stories I'm experiencing these testimonies one-on-one -on -one. Yeah. 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 Yeah.